So it's Brian and I'm back again and today we're going to talk about thin film interference and I want to start with this awesome shell. This is an abalone shell and I got this up at Pine Ridge and if you look at the colors that come off the shell, there are dramatic rainbow colors and you see mostly there's greens and there's magentas, really, really amazing bright colors, but there is no pigment in this shell. All the materials that make up those colors are in fact transparent, which is kind of crazy, but the materials that are transparent are laid down in layers. And so this is that makes what's called a thin film interference. There's a thin layer of clear materials and I get reflections from both sides of it. And when I get the reflections from both sides, I can get constructive and destructive interference and I can get those amazing colors that you see. And you've seen colors like this before. Um, soap films have this, bubbles have this, you've seen oil slicks have this same story. It's a thin film interference. And it's really, really useful to give things really, really bright colors. Now this piece of plastic right here, what color is this plastic? Well, it's orange and there's pigment inside it that absorbs orange light. And so if I take this piece of plastic and I shine a light through it, the light I shine through it is orange. <laughs> I want to look at directly, it is orange. And the reason is um, it's got pigment in it that just absorbs all the other colors. And so there's one color which is transmitted. That's the color you're going to see. It's also the color that's reflected. But thin film interference works really, really differently. With thin film interference, I get constructive and destructive interference that lets certain colors go through and let other colors be reflected. So I'll show you something that is a very, very different kind of filter. And I have this one right here. And if I take this filter right here and you ask what color it is, it depends on if you're looking at the light that is transmitted directly or if you're looking at the light that's reflected. So if I look at the light that is transmitted directly, what I see is the light that is transmitted directly is distinctly blue. Okay, and this is the light that is coming through. I put the filter here and I just project that light on a piece of paper. It's distinctly blue. But the other hand, if I take that piece of paper and I put it back here and I look at the light that's reflected off the filter, the light that's reflected off the filter is yellow. And so there's constructive interference for the blue light that goes through and constructive interference for the yellow light that's reflected. And so I've got enhanced transmission of this wavelength and enhanced reflection of this wavelength. And actually the materials that make up this filter are colorless. They are colorless. It is a film of a clear material. But because it's a thin layer, I get constructive and destructive interference from reflections from the two sides of the film. And you can read about that in the chapter. And it's, you're able to produce dramatic, dramatic colors. Now if you suspect that something that you're seeing that is brightly colored is producing its colors with this thin film interference, there's an easy way to test and you can test this way. If I take this light and I shine it through this filter and I look at the image I get on a piece of paper, I get a distinctly green image. But if I take that filter and I turn it to the side, now it's distinctly blue it's back to green and if I tip it at an angle I can make it be kind of a blue green and if I keep tipping it I get it into the purple. So the color that you see depends upon the angle. The same thing is true with the light that's reflected. If I look at the light that's reflected depending on the angle I reflect it at I'm going to get different colors and that's the hallmark of colors that are produced by this thin film interference. Now they're very very popular in nature and it's this angle changing thing which is perhaps responsible for it because if you're an animal and you've got colors produced by this depending upon the angle that the light hits you at you appear very very different colors and so you get these dramatic flashes of colors at certain times that you see on hummingbirds for instance and it's because it's produced by this thin film interference. It's remarkably important in nature. It's very, very cool to demonstrate. It's one of the topics we're going to look at in chapter 17.